We have represented today many of Oklahoma City's uh, job creators and leading uh, business associates. And I want to thank the corporate community that showed up today, including Chesapeake, uh, ONG, uh, the Fit Kids Coalition, uh, Bank First, uh, Devon, Integris, uh, Victory Church, and a special thank you to Tom Michaud of uh, Foundation Healthcare, who is has really helped coordinate this effort and whose company has uh, volunteered their efforts on the website that is really the centerpiece of this whole uh, uh, effort. Um, you will notice behind us we have a couple of Asian elephants. This is Asha and Chandra. Asha is the one closest to us. And if, if, if cities could be represented by animals, I think a lot of American cities would look like elephants because we continue to grow and you can't help but look at an elephant and wonder if that elephant shouldn't need to lose weight. But what we really need to be looking like is, is ferrets. <laughs> and and uh, does, it, does Ferret have a name? Yes, her name is Bandit. Bandit. Now, you, you, you take Bandit here. This is the future of Oklahoma City right here. And, and, but many, Oklahoma, many cities in the United States, including Oklahoma City, look much too lo much like the, the, the Asian elephants out there. Obesity is an issue that, that uh, I, I may be making light of today, but it is, is certainly a very serious uh, epidemic in the United States and Oklahoma City specifically. And, and rather than ignore it, and, and rather than just wishing it would go away, we decided we needed to get uh, intense, and we needed to get, uh, to a certain extent, in your face and talk about obesity and say, you know, we're just not going to sit back and allow this to happen in Oklahoma City. We're going to do something about it. And so we started a website called thiscityisgoingonadiet.com. And on this website will be all the information anyone could ever want about obesity. It'll have links on how people can lead a healthier life. It'll also have um, a way that people can completely go on, and, and although no one will know what you weigh when you log in your weight, you'll be able to determine your goal, and we will actually be able to have a counter on how much weight the citizens of Oklahoma City are losing as a part of this program. Uh, so again, the website is thiscityisgoingonadiet.com, and I believe that as a community we can really be a support mechanism for each other. I myself have battled weight loss through the years. Uh, it seems like I, I, can, I can lose weight occasionally and in large numbers, but then through the years I will gain it back. Maybe it's three pounds a year, maybe it's five pounds a year, and in a few years I've gained a significant amount of weight, and I don't think I'm unusual in that respect. But I do know that when you have people rooting for you and when you do it together, and I think the social networking aspects of websites really lend themselves to this being successful uh, from a community-wide standpoint, and we can really draw attention to obesity. One of the things we're asking for is our, is our employers to send links to this website to their employees. And by using the internet and by using email, we feel like we can get this website to people all throughout the Oklahoma City community and around the country. What we'd really like people to do is if they're at their ideal weight, this website can help them stay there and help them maintain their weight. If they're not at their goal weight and they'd like to get there, then this website can help them and help be a vehicle for, for getting them to lose their weight. Uh, a city this size ought to be able to lose a million pounds, and that's our goal for Oklahoma City. Uh, we want to create a healthy culture in Oklahoma City. We want to create a culture that no longer turns its back on obesity and, and no longer pretends it's going to go away on its own. Uh, you don't have to look very far to the next generation to see that we're not heading in the right direction. We're heading into the wrong direction in obesity, and the time to stop it is now. So again, the website address is thiscityisgoingonadiet.com. It went live this morning. When I got out of the car, we had 215 people that had signed up, and by the time I got down here, it had gone up to 221. Uh, the number of people that have signed up is listed on the front page of the website, if you'll go there, as well as the amount of weight uh, that is being lost by the community. And we didn't expect much of a jump start here on day one, but apparently some people are exercising through the lunch hour and weighing back in, and the weight's already starting to add up. We're, we're going to be to a million pounds by dinner at this rate. Uh, but I want to thank everyone for coming out, and, and uh, as we move along in this program, uh, what you'll see is us gravitating towards some of the success stories of the program and having follow-up press conferences, perhaps like this one, uh, and letting you hear from people who have had success and how the website has helped them to lose weight. Again, thank you all for coming, and the website address is thiscityisgoingonadiet.com. I'll be glad to take questions if you all want to do one-on-ones or I can do it up here. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the, the timing uh, is, is very apropos with New Year's resolutions. We know people are making resolutions today about losing weight, and so announcing it here on New Year's Eve is, is not a coincidence. Uh, absolutely. And we hope people that, will, that, that for whatever reason, a diet or a weight loss program has not worked before, we hope that this website can be the vehicle that makes this one successful. 
her, her question is about the economic benefits. Well, I think a healthy wo workforce is a, is, a, is of economic benefit to the citizens of Oklahoma City. When people start to relocate jobs or create jobs, they want a city that's going to have low cost of health care. They want a workforce that's going to be able to uh, show up on time and not have a high number of absenteeism. And as a result, you need a, a city that has a culture of, of health. And uh, you look at the, at the, at the list of, of cities out there that, that seem to have more overweight people. And, you know, there are a lot of cities that are worse than us in this area, but we're on those lists. And we want to get off those lists, and we want to instead change the culture as that uh, this is a community that values health and values health care and, 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 uh, and fights obesity. So what's the time frame? Will it be up for a year, six months? Or six months? Her question is on the time frame. And we're going to um, look at this again in a few months and see if we need to tweak it. But if it's being successful, I don't know that we want to put a stop to it. And so we don't really have an exit strategy. We're getting in here. We're trying to give it a jump start here at the beginning of the year, and we're just going to see how it goes. Uh, but if it's successful, I certainly don't want to stop using it. Can you kind of give a redeclaration of mm -hmm. what we're doing here and the yeah. way goal for this city? Okay. Well, it, um, in a sentence, uh, this city is going on a diet. Uh, and, 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 and I know that that may sound abrupt and in your face, but if, if the mayor comes out and says, uh, I want you to eat more fruits and vegetables, it probably wouldn't have much effect. Uh, you, you need to get people's attention, and we want to raise awareness that obesity is of epidemic proportions in this country, and Oklahoma City is not going to sit back and just let it happen and let it continue to get worse. We're going to provide support where we can. We're going to get our employers involved because they know they're on our side. And we want to, to try and get a hold of this health care issue that's, uh, that's strangling our economy and everybody else's economy. Can you tell us where we rate as a city as far as our obesity level? Uh, her question is on where we rate. We're, we're typically in the top 20 of all of those negative polls that are out there. And there's, there's several ones. Some of them deal with fast food. Some of them deal with, the, with obesity for adults. Some of them deal with obesity for children. And, uh, and typically, you see cities of about our size or larger in Oklahoma, Texas, and then in the south um, at the top of those lists. Uh, and, and again, you know, we're not, by any means, the worst city in these areas. But I don't even want to be on these lists. And, and I want to create a culture of a healthy community as opposed to a community that seems to be getting larger and larger and, and seems to be falling to all these obesity issues. I went on the website. It, it uh -huh. has things like... Um 5K runs and things like that. Will you also be out in front of those, getting people to come out to do this run and do that walk? Yeah, her question is about um, uh, are, are we going to be out on, on some of the, the 5K runs and those types of things. What we want to do is use this website for anything that has to do with a healthy lifestyle. So if you've got an event, uh, we want to serve as a vehicle to get more people to be involved in your, in your event. Uh, you know, we're building more bike paths than ever before. We just passed a school bond issue in October that's going to build gymnasiums in all 47 of our inner city grade schools. I mean, we're doing a lot of the things from a government standpoint and a community standpoint to, to allow people to have more opportunities to exercise. But it still comes back to that other part of it, you know, and that's how much you eat and that's what you eat. And a lot of that is a lack of information, and a lot of it is just a lack of willpower, and we need to work on both of those things. Those you know, there are a number of, of positive uh, uh, programs already working in the schools. If we can be of help to them or if we can be an opportunity to educate the kids' parents and, and get the parents involved uh, from a parenting standpoint, we'll be glad to do whatever we can. But there's really no shortage of educational efforts working in the schools right now. There's just nothing that kind of ties it all together. And that's what we're trying to do, try to get one website that can be the source for information about a healthier, healthier weight loss style. Weight loss is long-term. How do you intend to get people to keep going back to this three, four, five months down the road? Well, it's, 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 and that's one reason why we, we were trying to decide whether or not the word diet should even be used in our opening statement about this city going on a diet. Because we know that diets generally don't work. If you're looking at this as a short-term thing, it's probably not going to stick. But we had to get people's attention, and the fact that we're going to put the city on a diet was able to get people's attention. But you're absolutely right. You've got to change your lifestyle. I mean, this has got to be the way you, you live and the way you eat from now on, not just a short-term aspect. But when it becomes sort of an emergency, as you could certainly say Oklahoma City's obesity issues are, then I don't think a diet is too strong of a word. But it needs to become part of the culture of Oklahoma City that we value those things. Well, how are you guys going to continue to promote this site just to, to keep it in the public eye down the road? We anticipate monthly or perhaps more frequently having follow-up press conferences and bringing people in that have lost weight and have used this website to their advantage to come in and speak to people about how they can be a support group and how they can continue to encourage each other. 
This website also has some of the social networking components that have become so popular with, with especially younger people on the Internet. And I think people can get on this inter Internet site and do blogs about their own weight loss. And they can encourage through the groups and the networking. They can encourage each other. So the social networking aspect, I think, is one thing that's fairly new to this idea. Is there, is there an associated cost? document as much as we can. I am putting together a task force to deal with the governmental aspects of obesity. And there are certain things that other municipalities and other school districts have done. And I want our task force to look at those things. I'm not necessarily saying that we need to throw trans fats out of all of our restaurants. I'm not saying that we need to uh, keep z use zoning principles to keep fast food restaurants out of neighborhoods or out of the city. But I don't mind us looking at those issues to see if there's any relevance to them. But what I am saying is we need to take personal responsibility about our own health. I mean, that's, that's job one. Uh, before you, 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 can't, you can't legislate obesity. You can't, I think, use government to, to suppress obesity. Now, to a certain extent, if we can be an aid, and, and some communities have done that, I'm willing to allow us to look at it. But I'm not here today saying that government's going to be the answer. It's going to be people taking responsibility themselves that's going to be the answer. Okay? Thank you all. So where's your New Year's Eve dinner? <laughs> Sorry we held you all up.